Hi, we're here at MWC at the HPE booth and here with Jeff Edlund. You're the CTO for Media and Communications at HPE and we're discussing, and everybody is discussing here, 5G. Can you explain the whole hype around 5G? Well, I, as you've detected, 5G hype is at a fever pitch. And uh, I think that, from my perspective, a lot of the hype is way too focused on the radio and uh, getting access to a super fast network versus some of the great innovations that have yet to be discovered as a result of having access to a very fast, low latency, uh, cloud-like architecture that will allow people to trial new services very rapidly uh, without kind of this traditional months of development that we have, have had to do in the past. And, and can you explain a little bit the background because everybody's talking already for a long time about 5G. Why, why did it take so long? Yeah, I, I, th I think that it really, uh, from a consumer or a consumption perspective, whether you're consumer or enterprise, it seemed like it took a long time. But when you think about it from a perspective of generations of technology, if you go back and you look at 1G, 2G, 3G, so on, it's about every 10 years yeah. we have a new technology that comes. We started with analog, then we moved to digital, then we started cranking up the speed and we added web services into it. 5G, it would be a mistake to think of this as just the next fastest uh, generation of technology we're bringing because it's bringing in a lot of new dimensions at the same time. Um, and those new dimensions added some to that 10 year life cycle timeline that we have. So we're pushing compute out to the edge, close to the service delivery point. We're pushing storage out to where the services are being consumed and we've got to connect it all together and make it all coordinated and orchestrated to work. And now we're finally here with the technology uh, to enable this new 5G world that's come in front of us. And if we look then from a telecom service provider, what, what, what kind of a key success factors, what do they really have to do right now? Well, what they have to do is they have to make sure that they're focusing beyond the radio mm -hmm. and they're offering something uh, differentiated to their customers that will allow them to put value-added services on top of the network that they're going to deliver and then be able to become part of that service economy. You know, for too long, the over-the-top providers have allowed the network service providers to provide that network connection, and then they've come with the real value associated with the data and understanding how, what kind of services people subscribe to and how they use them and then marketing to them. They've derived all of that value and they've left it out of the hands of the service provider. Well now, with 5G, this truly is a service-based architecture. Mm -hmm. HP is an IT company having IT experience as well as telecom experience. We can help these carriers and operators understand how to use this service-based architecture so not everybody's jumping over top of them with the value. They're actually providing the value to their customer. And can you elaborate on this, how you help the service providers? Yeah, absolutely. So um, my business unit in particular, uh, we align ourselves strongly to the major priorities of HPE, which today are um, being able to empower the intelligent edge, being able to manage and monetize your data, and then being able to uh, coordinate a hybrid cloud environment, whether the cloud is one you own or one that you're getting from somebody else. In my business, that translates to a service provider in being able to provide multi-access edge compute. So helping them to put their services, their applications, and their connectivity offer very close to the customer. Um, I also help them orchestrate the management of those services from the edge back into the carrier core. And then I help them manage their data. Not just the data of how their, of their subscribers and what they've subscribed to, but how they actually use the carrier's network and how they use services that are tra traversing the carrier's network and then help them be a more efficient provider to their customer. And can you unveil us a little bit what's coming up the coming days? Yeah, so um, lots of exciting partnerships. Mm -hmm. uh, um, HPE uh, can't do it all. 
we're not a radio company. We handle the the services back end quite well. We handle this ITification of the network that the carrier's having to go back through very well. But more importantly, I think for our customers, um, we're helping to uh, realize and ignite the exciting use cases that are going to drive both revenue and value. So whether um, you're somebody that's looking for a superior gaming experience uh, because you've got a better service uh, provider than anybody else, or you're a hospital and we're tying patient and provider together, so the doctor has instantaneous charts that are secure and general data privacy requirement uh, compliant. Um, those are the kind of things that we and HP can talk about and we can do. We can help those enterprises uh, get the services that their customers want into their hands, allow them to monetize them, and use the carrier uh, service provider and infrastructure as a method of, of delivering those to, to our customers. Lots of excitement, lots of new announcements. Thank you for watching here from MWC in Barcelona from the HP eBook. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.